So this video will cover matrices, uh, matrix addition, specifically properties in matrix addition. So we are going to start with the commutative property of matrix addition. The commutative property of matrix addition. So this might sound familiar to you. Um, you've seen it in the past with um, variables where we say a plus b equals b plus a, essentially telling you that the order in which you add things doesn't matter. And so we can use the same property with matrices as well. Um, with matrices, the, community pro the commutative property tells us the same thing, that for two matrices of the same size, the order in which you add these matrices don't matter. So we're going to look at two different examples. Um, let's say I have a three by three matrix with these numbers in them. I'm just randomly picking numbers, um, but you can pick any numbers that you want. And I have to add it to a matrix with the same size. So they need to have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. Okay, so I'm gonna just for the purposes of this, call this matrix F and matrix G. And so essentially if I add matrix F plus G, I should get matrix H. And so I'm going to add this these two matrices together. And remember with matrix addition, you're adding this value plus this value gives you this value. Um, so just keep that in mind. And so we're gonna add these together. Thirteen and nine, okay. So this is matrix H. And so this is pretty straightforward. We've seen this before, this is basic matrix addition, but the commutative property tells us that we can flip F and G. So we can make this matrix G, we can add, we can have matrix G first, 7, 3, 1, 12, and 5. This is matrix G, and we can add that to matrix F. So 3, 2, 3, 4, 9, 1, 10, 1, 4. And so this is matrix F. And so the commutative property tells us that we first added F plus G to get H. Now we're going to add G plus F to get H. But let's just test our theory. We're going to add these two matrices together. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. 7 plus 9 is 16. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 10 is 11. 12 plus 1 is 13. 5 plus 4 is 9. So as we can see, these two matrices right here are the same. They're the same matrices. They have the same number of rows, the same number of columns, and their entries are the same in the same order. Why does this work? This works because we added the individual entries within the matrices. So essentially, we have the commutative property that we can apply for the each for each individual entry. And that is because of how matrix addition works. Um, so because we're adding entry by entry the respective spots, that's why the commutative property of matrix addition works. And so a second property we're going to talk about now is also a property that you might be already familiar with from any previous math classes you've taken. We have the associative property of matrix addition. So you have definitely seen the, the associative property before. Um, this has to do with parentheses placement, but that is telling you that if you have A plus B in parentheses plus C, you can move the parentheses. So your parentheses can go around B plus C and you'll get the same value, you'll get the same sum. 
So with matrices, the associative property tells you that for three matrices of the same size, say, let's say you have matrix, we'll think back to matrix, um, let's say, right here, four matrices. Let's say you have matrix D plus matrix E plus matrix F, so E and F being in parentheses, will equal D plus E in parentheses plus F. So all these are matrices of the same size. And that's really important. These matrices must be of the same size. So we'll go through an example now. Um, we're gonna look at two by two matrices. So let's say matrix D is going to be two, four, three, five. We'll call this matrix D plus Let's say matrix E is one, two, three, seven. Um, so this is a start of a parenthesis, plus matrix F. Oh, sorry, forgot to label matrix E. This is like matrix F, which we'll say is three, five, seven, two. Close the matrix, main clip matrix, close the parentheses. And so we have to remember PEMDAS. It still applies here. We're gonna add the two matrices in the parentheses first. And so I'm gonna shift this down a little bit. We're gonna rewrite matrix D. We're not touching that yet. And then we're gonna add the two matrices in the parentheses. So we're gonna add E plus F. So remember matrix addition, you add each entry. So we're gonna add the one plus three to get the four. Um, I'm gonna erase that so it's a little less confusing. Uh, then we'll add two plus five gives us seven. Three plus seven is 10. Seven plus two is nine. So this is our new matrix. matrix. We can call this matrix G if we want to. Um, and this is still matrix D. And then I'm gonna move this down a little bit. We're now gonna add matrix matrices D and G. So two plus four is six, four plus seven is 11, three plus 10 is 13, five plus nine is 14. So this is our sum, we'll call this matrix H. And so as to recap, what we did was we added the two matrices in the parentheses, which in this case were matrix, matrix E and matrix F. That gave us matrix D, and then we added matrix D, and we added matrix G to get matrix H. Now, these, because the associative property tells us that the placement of the parentheses don't matter, we're gonna just check that out, see if that's true. So we are going to, I'm gonna call this, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but we're just, we're gonna add, put D and E in the parentheses this time. So uh, matrix D is 2, 4, 3, 5, 2, 4, 3, 5. This is matrix D. This is in the parentheses plus matrix E, which is 1, 2, 3, 7. So plus 1, 2, 3, 7. This is matrix E. Close the parentheses plus matrix F. So now matrix F is outside of the parentheses. And so we're gonna add matrix F, three, five, seven, two. All right. And so then we are going to add these. We're gonna add matrix D and matrix E together. So two plus one equals three. 4 plus 2 equals 6, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 5 plus, 12, 5 plus 7 equals 12. So this is our new matrix. We can call this matrix I. And we are going to copy down matrix, oh, forgot to label matrix F. 3, 5, 7, 2. This is matrix F. So we're going to add matrix I and matrix F. And so 3 plus 3 equals 6, 6 plus 5 equals 11, 6 plus 7 equals 13, 
12 plus 2 equals 14. And so this is matrix H, and this should be the same as this matrix right here. So as we can see, this matrix, 6, 11, 13, 14, is the same as this matrix, 6, 11, 13, 14. And so we have essentially proven the associative property of matrix addition. Now there are two more properties of matrix addition um, that you'll learn a little bit later. We have the identity property, the identity property of matrix addition. And we have the inverse property, the inverse property of matrix addition. Um, both of these you'll learn about in later lessons. But thank you for watching. Thank you for following along.